This is going to be our zinc B car insulation video. A B car is a centering alignment and rotating device designed for your muzzle. Uses bearing scars already here installed with the zinc thumb nut. If you get this pre-assembled from us, this is what it'll look like. So to install it, all you need to do is to remove the old muzzle. So the easiest way to do that, I find, is to prime the blaster and carefully unscrewing this rod on top. It can be a little greasy, so you may want to use a rag or something, maybe a little pair of pliers to hold onto the rod and spin it from the front here like this, so just grab it on the front and spin it lefty-loosey all the way until it comes out. So spin and pull, spin and pull, spin and pull. There you go. Then you wanna unscrew the muzzle. And I find the easiest way to get this off is actually just to hit it repeatedly, um, gently, but controlled tapping. So I'm gonna use a steel putter, this wrench here, and I can already see it's starting to come off, so tap, tap, tap. Do that enough times, and it'll come right off. It may be really tight, so you may have to hit it. If it is really, really tight, then you may be better off to pull it, and to get it off, it does use a bit of force. It's supposed to be a friction fit, but these screws keep it on, so this one, for example, I can just pull off with my hand. That's a good fit. Yours came out a bit too tight, then tapping it, you wanna hit it, Kind of nice, kind of like right where those magnets are. You don't want to hit the sear and break the sear by accident. And then the last thing is to put on your new muzzle. So I'm gonna switch out the sear and your muzzle should come with magnets as well that you can then glue in. So I'm going to first switch out my sear. And I'm gonna be very careful to make sure that this does not go flying across the room. That spring that just about went flying across the room. And I'm going to tuck that into, kind of like that, and tuck that with the spring leg resting on the front of the muzzle there, just like this, and push that in, and the sear should keep the spring in, so the spring stays in. And then I like to use your, your flathead screw to kind of poke that down to make sure it's where you want it. And then that screw should go in through the side, looks like it's the other side. And you want that screw to drive through the sear and into the spring. And all the way through. And you want to make sure your sear sort of pivots. Mine does. If it doesn't, then you may have to take out the, the screw and uh, drill or file out the inside of your sear to make sure it pivots. Um, but if your zinc worked before, it shouldn't have any problems on the next one or on the new muzzle. And then I'd put my magnets in. And I'd want to make sure those magnets line up to the polarity of the slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my magnets, and if you're gonna glue them into the muzzle, I like to file them a little bit just to rough up the surface to give the glue a place of contact or to grip onto. My magnets are gonna be in this orientation for this particular zinc. So I'm gonna put a drop of super glue inside of here. Just a little drop is all you need. And then you're gonna push on the magnets into the muzzle. Okay, it might be easiest to do them one at a time, but I can see the orientation that I need to, to get them. So I'm gonna put the magnet into the hole. And what I can do is I can use something to push those magnets up so I can more easily get them in. Kind of push them up so they line up like that. And then I can push them on like that. And there you go. Get that guy there. Then I can push them on the rest of the way. And here I'm just using, again, my pliers to push down those magnets as far as they'll go. And then I'll simply put the zinc back together. So I will do the muzzle with the screws. And then I will install the slide with the rod as it was before. And righty tighty. If it's really tight to get in, you can't quite twist it. What you can do is, again, use pliers, screw it in, or an easier way, unscrew the back here and twist the rod from the back. Take off this redirect end cap. Give it a little wiggle. Um, and then you can use a pair of pliers to tighten that or you can use your socket, five 
16th socket to tighten that down until it bottoms out. There you go. Then you can reinstall your rear piece. I'd recommend looking at the zinc assembly video as well. In order to you know, keep the slide nice and tight, I'm gonna squeeze that together as I screw it in. And there you go. Now I'm not gonna be able to plug the barrel and fire it anymore because I have these, you know, they don't have an air seal in this end of this barrel. Uh, so I'm gonna have to not dry fire it, but there's a zinc with a B car. Not too bad. Um, and you have your old muzzle as well with the old thumb nut and your old magnets and you can switch out if you want. That is how you would switch out the muzzle. To switch out the slide on the zinc, here's part two of the zinc modification video. We're gonna have to take off all the slide portion, so I'll prime it back, I'll unscrew this rod, and if the rod's too tight to get out, you'll want to unscrew this back piece and take off this rear piece, give it a wiggle, and then unscrew that from the back carefully. And then when you feel it get loose, then you can just pull off the slide and pull the guide rod out. Now to deprime the blaster, I'm going to hold this with a pair of pliers, kind of like right there, and pull it back while I release the catch and lower the rod forward. So squeeze it together, pull it back, pull the catch, and lower it forward, just like that. You can also do this with the blaster unprimed by just unscrewing that rod and then sliding it out, whichever way works for you. Um, I'd recommend doing it that way, honestly. So to get the slide off, take off the back cap, unscrew the rod, and we'll take the catch out, the cover. We're gonna have our catch and our catch springs. And to get the plunger tube out of the tube without breaking the frame, I like to hold it like this so it's away from me and just slide these legs out and just pull up. Kind of wiggle that plunger tube just enough that it comes out like that. And then I'll slide it out the rest of the way. I want to make sure that if you do have a cut spring and one end is more rough than the other, you put the smoother end on the plunger or the rough end on the end. Then you would just do the inverse of that with a new slide. So we're gonna grab our new slide, say this is our new slide. We're going to install the magnets by lining up the polarities. I'm gonna take my magnets, I'm going to score them a little bit so the glue has more surface area to bite into. I'm going to check my polarity. Then I'm going to put on my slide and then I'm gonna push that slide onto the muzzle to get the magnets to sit in the slide. Then I'm gonna pull off my slide and then set those magnets in with a pair of pliers and just push those in so they sink to the bottom. And then we'll just, well, I like to make sure that I check the slide to make sure the catch pivots. If the catch is too tight, then you'll want to take a small flat file and kind of file, usually you wanna file this surface here until the catch slides. If the feet of the catch are sticking out too wide, you may have to file that, but you want the catch to slide up and down, nice and smooth. And then we'll install our catch springs. I like to do the factory end down first. That's the end that I've cut facing up. And then on my cover, I like to make sure that I have a good slope on that edge there, so that way when the catch moves up, it doesn't get stuck on that top lip. And then I'll install the cover. And then I'm not gonna tighten that too hard, but we can adjust that later, uh, put that on. And then I'm gonna do my, my slide. You know, make sure it's all deeper. Before I put the plunger tube in and uh, seal it up, I wanna make sure that my slide slides on the frame. If my slide is too tight on the frame and there's too much friction and it won't close shut, I'm gonna take a file and pretty aggressively file all of the side and the top and the inside of that slide, all of the surfaces that might be contacting. So that's with these kind of a diamond shaped spots. I'm gonna file the inside of the diamond, the top of the diamond, the side of the diamond, the other side of the diamond, 
and then I like to use the edge to file on the inside of that square edge as well. Just file that until it slides nice and smooth. This one is nice and smooth. Then I will install my plunger tube as I took it out. So I'm gonna squeeze open the slide just enough to get the tube in. Once the tube is in, I'll just slide the tube down. Then I'll set that guide rod through the hole in the slide, install the slide into the frame, make sure that guide rod lines up to the muzzle, and install that. And then I like to prime it and replace my back cap, my rear, give it a wiggle, make sure that's on all the way nice and flush. I put my screws in the rear piece to squeeze it together and then tighten the back down. And there you go.